Hello everyone, my name is Garrett Sima from Halloween Magic. The Ram, bam, okay, back to the glove. Um, here uh, is a part two glove, um, Nightmare on Elm Street part two, Freddy's Revenge glove, done by KnifeGloves.com, and I'm doing a review for it. Um, Mark Petrie makes these, he makes them so accurate, it's insane, you should go check out his YouTube channel. Um, you just go type in Knife Gloves or something like that, or Mark Petrie, he'll find them. He makes the best part one gloves out there in the market that I know of, so they, they make them better, he makes them better than me, but as you can see, you can hear that, like the knives, the knives are like built just like um, the knives that were used, used in the film, they're actually um, store-bought knives, they're called um, P210 knives um, from Case. And uh, he replicated those. He, I don't know how he, if he grinds them out or stamps them out. I have no idea. But um, he's, he has the um, P210 knives. And then he made a bunch of uh, copies like this. So, just like the P210 knife, it bends. Just like in the film. But, you know, it pops back in shape. It looks really nice. Um, as you see, um, I didn't get a ringlet here, and um, that's because in one uh, shot I saw the they used wiring instead of the ringlet, and that explains why those two little holes were on the side. And then there's a little hole in here, if you can see it. Oh, that's a identification hole, I believe. Um, there's the ball and tape. I know on the second film, the ball and tape wasn't in there. Um, but it's he just keeps it on because it looks nice, and I definitely agree with him. It looks fantastic. And uh, Mark Petrie saw the original screen use glove just like I did, but um, he got a little more chance to look at it more than I did. And he's definitely um, outdone himself. He, as you see, that little bump. There's a little bump at the, at the end of the copper there, like that. Um, some other things I've seen. There's a little. I, I don't know, my camera's not focusing really well. There it is, see that little uh, pinch there or whatever? Um, it, it, it like moves so fluently, it's insane. Um, see this uh, rivet is bigger than the this one and this one, but and then there's a bigger rivet here. It's a big, bigger rivet here, and on this side too, and then the rest are all smalls. Small um, rivets. The le um, the leather glove is so comfortable. Um, kind of smells like a little bit. <laughs> smells kind of different, but um, it'll probably go away after time. It's something like that fresh leathery smell ish. <laughs> so um, the weathering is amazing on this thing. If you like look at the pictures. Um, from the film, you'll say this thing is so legit. It's insane. It's like only owning the original glove from that um, time period. See, the glove is amazing. Thank you, Mark, so much. And um, there will be more reviews, hopefully next weekend or the weekend before that or whenever I decide to post a video. So I'll see you guys later. Um, have a scary weekend.